Hello there beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to OnHow channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you, so if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop on below in a comment and I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back and <laughs> please be a witness to that, to over 150 videos I made so far on Shopify customization because they were mostly requested by you guys. And I mean subscribers, and some people not even subscribers, but I still make the video for them. Just a like button, that's all I'm asking. Actually, if you're interested in Shopify customization, you want to be an expert, why not subscribe to the channel, man? I don't have any uh, courses to sell, I don't have any like paid teams or any calls or any paid memberships on the channel. Everything I do create, including the calls on the videos, I post them completely free on the channel. So it's a win-win situation, but I'll let you decide and I'll respect your decision. Just a like button, that's all I'm asking. And here I am again, back with another requested video, which is how to align the quantity selector with the buy now button and add to cart button on the same line on your Shopify product page. And we will do that again by using a custom call. And yes, this is a requested video. He did request me how to do so, how to align the uh, quantity selector with the buy it now and uh, add to cart button with the same line and it looks way better you will see in a second i did provide them on the call to do so but based on my experience questions keep repeating so instead of replying to each one i'll make the video so anyone has the same question here you go that's for you and without any more talking let's just get to it and show you how to align the quantity selector with the buy it now and add to cart button on the same line on the product page and this is the shopify dashboard in here and this is the down team I have here installed, which is the one I do demonstrations on. So every code and trick in the video, I do it on down team because it's the most used one. Also, it's the most requested one. But if I scroll down in here, I have every other most used free teams, which is Refresh, Spotlight, Taste, Sense, and Trade. And if you are wondering why is that, because I do actually try each code on all of these teams behind the scenes. I don't do that in the video, so I don't bore people, but I do that behind the scenes, so I'd make sure that it works for all of them. So even if you're not using down team, using one of these, it should work for you just fine. And even if it didn't, just drop me a comment. I would be happy to help you out, but I'm sure it will. And I just have to say this in the beginning, so I give you that peace of mind, because if you're gonna see me in the video doing it on down team, you might be thinking, well, maybe it's not working for the others. No, it is. And without of the way, let's just get to it again for the second time. And this is the Shopify store we're going to do the trick on. And this is the, top, the Shopify store where I do all the tricks on. So every little thing that you see on the Shopify store, I did it in tutorials. So if you saw anything in here that you liked and you want to implement it on your Shopify store, then make sure to check out the channel because once it's here, that means it's already done on Postal. But what I'm showing you here is this little guy right here, the quantity selector. So it's gonna be a line in here with the add to cart and shiny effect. Yeah, I did that in the video. So <laughs> what, what I'm about to do here is we will align this quantity selector in here uh, with the add to cart and buy it now. So obviously the add to cart and buy it now will shrink a little bit, like around 70% of their original size. So this one can fit in here and it will be in the center between them. It looks way better and you will see that in a moment. And this will only be done on the desktop not on the mobile, because on the mobile, it's better actually. I did recommend the person who asked me the question, I, he wants to do it on the mobile as well, but I did recommend him that he shouldn't. Keep the add to cart and buy it now, taking the full width of the page on the mobile. That's way better for conversion rate. That's way better and no question about it. So we will keep the, this page open, do the trade, come back and see it in action. If you want rounded corners again on the product picture, I already made that video, so <laughs> I will quit now, I promise. So let's just get back to Shopify dashboard. After that, click on the three dots on left of customize and click on edit code. Then it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. And after that, we need to find the specific file. Instead of looking at the folders here, you might get dizzy. Use the search bar at the top left corner, then type in team and you will see team.liquid, team.liquid. Click on it, a bunch of code will show up. But in the beginning here, you will see head. Maybe the third line, the second line, it depends on the team, but mostly it's going to be in the beginning. So in here it says head. So below the tag head, we need to pass in some code, but there is no space. To create that space, simply click front of the tag head, click front of it like this, then hit enter on your keyboard. Here we go. We have a completely new line, nothing on it. And 
because we need to pass in some code and where are you gonna get the code from the description box of course simply scroll down the description box and you will see a link named as code click on it and it will take you to this beautiful page with this beautiful code in here so this little code will do the trick for us will make it really aligned with the buttons and it looks way better so select the whole code in here make sure to select the whole thing then right click copy we will get back in here and paste it below the tag head in the beginning of the file paste it in here now let's just click on the save button wait for a couple of seconds it's save it we will get back in here reload the page and see the changes check it out as you can see this is how it looks now and from my personal experience this is way better if you have a longer description if you have more text and description more uh, gifs and so on this is way better but this is a preference of course and i'll let you decide but for now i think my job is done so thanks for watching i'll catch you on the next one